So, Kaiser's Legion, the big bad boogeyman of the wasteland. But I'm actually sure that if you got to know the guy, he's probably quite nice. Uh, in this playthrough, I am going to show you firstly how to uh, save Kaiser's life to avoid the Civil War. And then after that, because you requested it, I am going to conquer everything on this map from east to west. So, let's get started. And we start off immediately with the Faithful Butcher. Four months ago, Kaiser summoned Lanius to appear within his tent cit citadel at Flagstaff. There he gave an important order to the renowned legate. Lanius, I need you to take Dog City. I'm going to need the wealth that Denver has to offer if we're going to cross the Colorado and take the dam. I'm going to entrust you with a handful of cohorts and trust that in five years you will accomplish this mission. Take any longer and I'm going to consider you a failure and mark you for death as anyone who has failed me would. Show those profligates no mercy. So, my will be done. This activates the mission for Lanius's cohort over here to uh, start conquering this area and then move on up to take Denver and everything else along the way. So what does Kaiser start with? So national spirit wise we have Cult of Mars which uh, effectively is uh, gives you some boost to your uh, war support uh, construction speed but then uh, negative to your population etc. Rejection of automation Kaiser's Legion does not like fancy technology, so your research speed is going to be terrible if you're even able to get to it. Eastern Cohort, every week I'm giving uh, Lanyard's 5 uh, manpower and 3% of my consumer goods and some money. Legion within a state, this is also effectively your... Where is it now? It's your way, your 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 affects your economy, but that changes as we go through the focus tree. And then Legion training is a nice one, gives me more attack, more experience gain, more special forces capacity, and an extra operative. Uh, also has some unique things where it has some advisors that can actually be used in uh, either as military staff, economic, or cultural. So that's actually quite unique as well. And we start off with a faction that contains Navajo and Tucson, I believe it is. Yes, just the two of those. Decision-wise, we've got quite a bunch of unique things. I am going to be starting a uh, salvaging program so I can get some goodies. We have the countdown to the Battle of Hoover Dam in 835 days. Uh, we also have development projects when we get more money. We have the glory system, which I won't really be using because I'm going to save Kaiser's life. And linked to that is the fate of Kaiser and the tumor that he has. He's currently healthy. We have a bunch of decisions to with the uh, Navajo, Tucson, and the reservation, and also an expedition we can send to the White Claws. Is it White Claws? It's white Legs later on. Then nothing else. Oh yeah, the, here is the countdown for Lanius. Now, quite uniquely, I do start with intelligence agency already with a couple of upgrades as well. And I'm already recruiting it and, and I have two agent slots and I'm already recruiting one as well. I am going to, since I've got some money, I'm going to do anti-partisan again just to get that up to be now resistance. Research, start with four research slots. What I'm going to be doing is going this way for the melee weapons and bumping up to ballistics later on. Reason doing that is the melee weapons have a cheaper production cost and I want a lot of weapons quickly, but ultimately I want to move on to ballistics. Then my other slot or my next slot is working on saws and then I'm going to do anti-tank rifles so I can get my uh, combined arms platoon and then it's the normal construction basics I've chosen this because I'm already have insufficient resources because of my navy so I want to go straight up here and start doing work camps for more resources 
and then the last one is of course ohm's law now we have intermediate in some things infantry and vehicles and all that but everything else is basic it does increase later on but uh, not all options and if we are a tribal nation so i'll definitely be you getting into this later on because there's some amazing boosts there then for construction what i have done is just in our states that have 50 percent of uh, infrastructure i am going to build some more arms and uh, civilian factories and then i'm actually going to increase my infrastructure towards Mojave just in case the Brotherhood win here and I have to do an all out war, it'll help with my supply. Production all I changed was uh, the one slot, there's one slot for pipe weapons, another slot for dogs, which I don't need, so I've changed it out to dynamite. I will change this again uh, later as I unlock uh, the fighting weaponry and anti tank and then templates we start with a nice bunch but i've actually copied two over from the uh, navajo because well frankly they're better uh, for example the prime legionaries is uh, eight comments width whereas the skinwalkers start at 16. and then on top of that let's just go back the legionary start 16 with with a stim packs not sure why they would need stim packs as the legion but the defenders of dain is an 18 combat with with demo attached already so a lot less that i have to change when it gets there. i'm actually already recruiting one of these here as you can see i will change the names up and all that uh, i haven't changed the templates Yet because I am at war, so I don't want to mess that around. The Frumentari is frankly useless. Gonna get rid of that. Not gonna do any motorized for now. I'll do that uh, later on. Then uh Kaiser's Legion starts at the third strongest army with uh, 34 uh, units. I've done something a bit different from what I normally do. I haven't included my special forces into a normal army unit. I've kept them separate and then my other two uh, cohorts here are just the pure infantry. So normally I would put break the units, mix them in for extra, but uh, I've done it a different way now. So I'm at war with the rusty hooks. My infantry is covering the entire line here with a general attack order and then I'm using my special forces as a breakthrough straight towards their capital. I um, do not have a commanding officer yet, but that will also change with the next coming weeks. I also start, or Kaiser's Legion also starts with the second best navy. So I've combi combined them into one fleet. I got quite lucky with uh, a uh, admiral that has a uh, plus 25% positioning so when we do go to war or when they do go into battle you'll get boosts for that and they are just putting them on patrol here medium just to take out i seriously doubt they have any ships but you never know and what else is there oh yes very good population with Kazar's legion you start with a lot of factories and dockyards as well and i believe that is that let's start with the focus tree and we start off with the expedition to blackfoot the expedition to blackfoot tribe was the defining event of legion history the tribe is the foundation of kaiser's great legion and it was through the flames of this, prim this primitive tribe's war that the iron wall of C kaiser will be forged i'm going to get the event torch of civilization now because i'm at war i'm going to be starting this off straight away Oh, Super Mutants Rise, this is because I've got the East Coast re, uh, Reborn mod added for the East Coast. So that's the Super Mutants starting their rise there. You can see everyone's coming in and they're going to start attacking. I've kept them on balanced. 
It's just so that you don't go crazy. I've already played 4.0 a long time ago. And here's our first event. The Torch of Civilization. In 2247, Mormon missionary Joshua Graham, and his, as well as two followers of the Apocalypse, Calhoun and Edward Sello, were captured by the Blackfoot tribe, bypasses to a typical tribal war. But Sello's suggestions to the tribe turned to orders, which turned to leading in battle, which turned into dominion over the tribe. Naming himself Kaiser, he trained the Blackfoot in ways of the old war and helped them conquer their six rival tribes. He showed them how to clean and maintain guns, operate with small unit tactics, create their own explosives and to strike at the weakest enemies first. Divide et imperia, divide and conquer. By the time the war was done, he was no longer a follower of the, of the apocalypse. He was Kaiser of a new empire. He was the Kaiser of a new empire. His greatest introduction was, okay, four choices. Either weapon maintenance, gives my infantry equipment more reliability. Uh, crafting explosives makes my demo equipment uh, cheaper or unit tactics gives me more planning speed or option four we can get all three but this will worsen kaiser's health now if you are not confident in healing kaiser i would suggest going for crafting explosives so you could get demo equipment uh, cheaper but i'm confident so i'm going to pick all th uh, to worsen his health but get all three bonuses in one go next we have the janus face of kaiser kaiser's mercy after a battle was as renowned as his brutality during it for every slave broken to the legion's lash there was a farmer who thanked the legion for killing a raider for every tribe who lost their name there was a town that blossomed under the arizona sun gets and we get the event the 86 tribes and the civilized societies. Let's carry on going here. I always like to try and win this war before I do the history. Okay, and this is what we're all about. Etuma Brute. Something has been off with Great Kaiser of late. He has not mentioned it, but some of his aides have seen him hold his head as if in pain. Forget certain key de details and somehow seem as if he is no longer as special as he once was. Although the Legion frowns upon medicine, perhaps an exception could be made for Kaiser. But where would we find the ability to heal such a sickness? Well, I know where it is. And this starts at the description of when uh, we put Kaiser under stress, his health goes down take his health down too low and he dies and you have a civil war but as i said before launching this fuck cancer we are going to cure kaiser and he will rule the legion until the very end okay there we go okay a phoenix rises a phoenix is one of the legion's first major conquests and to some it marked the date of the legion turned from a band of tribes into an empire before the Legion's conquest, Phoenix had been home settlers who used the Silla and Gila rivers to irrigate cotton fields and traded textiles through the southwest. Although many of the town's residents had prospered once the Legion united Arizona and opened up new markets, some of Phoenix's rich remember when they were masters of their fate. Could not Phoenix emulate, they whispered, the Republic of Rio Grande? Could they not form a city-state of their own? Fools that they are, they do not know the Fruitmentari are aware of their plans. That's my uh, intelligence agency. Kaiser will find this interesting. So, shortly, we'll be getting event, uh, events to sort out these rebels. And we'll also add glory to some of the leaders. Okay, next event. The 86 tribes and the civilized societies. Salem and Graham were ruthless in war, but they managed to forge a society east of the Colorado. Tribal subjects became a tabula rasa. Their culture incorporated into a legion that assimilated useful traits and discarded the rest. But civilized towns were treated much differently. The legion let them govern themselves, so long as they paid taxes and obeyed Kaiser's whim. Many in Arizona and New Mexico found legion rule to be preferable to the petty despots before Kaiser's arrival, and a pax 
Romana settle over the waste. Clean water, electricity, and a government that brooked no meaningful dissent. These are the hallmarks of Legion civilization. The two exceptions were the fierce Navajo, and with whose sophistication rivaled the NCR, and those skinwalkers, uh, and whose skinwalkers frightened the Frumentari themselves, and Tucson, whose priests paid tribute to autonomy, or auto, yeah, autonomy, okay. Again, we have choices here. So, Kaiser's justice will give me more stability and more war support. The tribals uh, have new gods will give me more division recovery rate. Or we can choose both. Now again, if you're not confident, I would choose a prosperous economy. The extra stability war support will do very nicely. But I'm going to take everything and move on to... The Malpaste Legate. Joshua Graham, the Malpaste Legate, was the co-founder of the Legion and Kaiser's greatest servant. A shrewd, cunning general and early axe cemented his legion across the Legion and formed the basis of his military prowess. And the event, the Malpaste Legate, will come up next. I do not want help from the reservation. Thank you very much. Let's carry on. We almost got Bloomberg. And court spice. The only other two victory points. That's the one. Come on, guys. Let's get the next one. I've got another dockyard. I'll add that on just now. Oh, they are doing. Oh, stop plan. That is not going to work for you guys. Okay, the Mulpace Legget. Joshua Graham, the Mulpace Legget, never saw a contradiction between his Mormon faith and his commitment to the Legion. Graham saw the Legion as a scourge for the corruption and sins of the wasteland. Just, just as Joshua harried the old Canaanites, so he would harry the wickedness and greed he saw. Graham was disgusted at the perceived corruption of his people, and some whispered planned to lead the legion home to cle cleanse his nation. Others thought he abandoned his faith entirely, devoted to conquest and power, and Graham himself, only Kaiser knew his goals. So, we can either he scourge the enemies of the Alchemites. This will make him a commanding officer and spawn three of the Legion siege divisions. Now that is a, as you can see here, a five infantry, so ten width with one uh, support demolitions company. We can also go for the desecrated the two sons temples. This will give me two Motra's uh, Legion chariots divisions. It unfortunately doesn't have chariots in it, but instead has is a 10 with motorized infantry unit. And then we have, we can either have Kaiser sort his justice together in their way, which will simply make him a commanding officer and make him extremely loyal to Kaiser. Then last but not least, we can uh, become a commanding officer and get two motorized battalions and two fragmentary battalions, but that will worsen his health. Now, this is the only one where I will always choose the Malpost Legate to make him uh, loyal and get what he needs. And frankly, I don't like the templates that come. I don't need them. Last but not least, Kaiser, son of Mars. Kaiser's will is law. He is a god amongst men, the son of the god of war, Mars. All in his legion live to serve him. As a blade serves his master, he is the teacher and master of the tribes under him, and in his conquest taught them many lessons. And you can get the cult of Vulcan. Let's just pop this on here. Always make sure your pair dockyards are at maximum, so you can get any damage ships back out. And I'm going to pop this onto my heavy ships. There we go. See, I'm minus 13 water. I need to get that up as fast as I can. And also, I've got seven days. I'm going to take Quartz Plus. So let's just take these guys and push them in there. See if it does anything. Come on, almost got it. Come on, come on. Ah. Didn't make it this time. Damn it. Okay. The Cult of Vulcan. Some outsiders claim the Legion disdains advanced technology, but this is a half-truth. 
The Legion builds power plants, complex fortifications and equips its elite soldiers with antimaterial rifles, marksman carbines and ballistic fists. Technology to the Legion is a fine servant but a poor master. The Cult of Vulcan handles all technology for the Legion and ensures technology exists to serve man, not man serve technology. A mix of priests and engineers, the Cult of Vulcan super supervise the slaves that mine coal, forge weapons and craft ammunition. They are loyal to Kaiser, but lately some have been looking into non-technical pre-war books and asking questions. And of course there are some older slaves who served in the Brotherhood's Arizona detachment who are spared only for what they know. So, three choices. You have the Chariots of God, which will give my motorized infantry and my motor chariots more soft attack, speed and breakthrough. Brotherhood Survivors gives me plus 4% to research speed, and we can also choose both. If you're not confident, I would go for the research speed to offset this uh, rejection of automation just to get your research speed up in general, but I'm choosing both. Now, in preparation for what's coming next with the battle at Hoover Dam, the next focuses I like to take are these two here so first of all the rubicon one of our frumentaries has found a place across a river deep and wide a span where steel and water did collide a town called boulder on the wild colorado this is going to give me a boost to uh, research burn to construction unlocks war by other means decisions and gives me army intel over mojave territories increases by five percent that's going to take 30 days and if this war is still going on in 30 days I'm going to lose it. Okay, New Reno, that's very nice. The brothers have united. Not bothered with that. I want to take out these guys. Broken hooks. Get this wall over so I can get my new templates up. Okay, Gloria Exotitis. Kaiser is the glue that holds the Legion together, but he is backed by the greatest leaders of the wasteland. Cunning Vulpers, the bloody legate. Pragmatic Aurelius, the Beast of the East Lanius, all serve at his command, and of course, there's loyal, dutiful Lucius. All of them strive for Kaiser's favor and try to earn glory. And if anything should happen to the god, well, that glory man may come in handy. Glory is tracked as a decision category, and the leaders of the Legion may earn glory through great deeds in service of the Legion. That is this here, where... As we make decisions or take certain focuses, they will increase in their glory. And if you are not successful in saving Kaiser, if that person has, uh, I think it's two levels glory more than anybody else, he will automatically take over the Legion and there will be no civil war. If it's less than that, civil war. Okay, so extra template to power, thank you. Anti-partisan is completed. How much money do I have here? 68 let's see what else i can get uh, let's form my crypto department that's good and let me show you one of the few guaranteed operatives you will get vulpus and culter you'll know him from Fallout new vegas he comes with smooth talker food taurus uh, that's the terrifying presence gecko pet as well as ninja so damn good operative and we already start recruiting our next one and I can now have the Malpas Legate leading his legion. Did I spell it correctly? I believe I did. Okay. Carrying on. Give me cause, profligate. Yeah. Two more. Can we just take court sight and call this war done and get on with our lives? There we go. Okay, Rusty Hooks is taken. All of it is mine, and that's all done. Okay, song from the front. I want more support. Okay, you can either choose more war support, 5%, or more political power. Right now, I would like some more base war support. I'll go for that one. Okay, Rusty Hooks is done. Now, what I'm going to do with my army is my special forces are going to go all the way up there to the border dam and the rest of the Malpas legion is going to go down here against the bordello ranches 
and now I'll sort everything out and I'll probably see you at the end of the current focus okay do you remember the rich trying to make problems down on Phoenix and the event we're going to get here's one of the first ones dousing the Phoenix Kaiser and his council agreed the rebels of Phoenix must be crushed lest they jeopardize the Kaiser's cotton citrus and copper but they disagree on how to handle it Lucia's proposal is the simplest. Why not simply kill some ringleaders, confiscate their property, then lower taxes for Phoenix's poor? It reminds them that the great Kaiser is harsh but just. Some whisper that it is a sign Lucius grows soft, but Kaiser knows the chariot is best with engines, fear and love. Balthus's plan is to lure the rebel leadership into a meeting with agents who will tend to work with the desert rangers, then crucify them along with the banks of the Gila River. But Radius has the most devious and some say harshest plan of all. Radius pr proposes to arm the rebels with faulty munitions and encourage them to revolt. The rebels won't know this until it's too late and will be ripe for the taking. Once Phoenix is reconquered, the Legion can break the city once and for all. Or Kaiser can always listen to Malpa's legate, who proposed just crucifying one in every 100 citizens of Phoenix as an example. So Lucius always served us well. We get the event. It's not going to happen now. Happen uh, uh, in the near future. Best medicine comes with honey. A cunning plot. We're prepared to deal with the rebels. Uh, same thing. Uh, why did they even bother? They're prepared to deal with the rebels, and the Legion were prepared to deal with these rebels. Now, I am, apart from these two, because it mentions their name, I'm not sure which ones will go, will, will go here, but I believe that this one is, okay, so this one is Lucius, this one is Vulpus, this one is Uradius, and this last one is the Malpais Legate. That's what I think these choices are. I'm just going to go with what I think is the Malpais Legate and go for that one. Okay, the Rubicon is done. So next focus I want to take is the Broken Boulder. Now this one, the Boulder City survived the Great War without much damage. Perhaps we can study its layout to seize it during our offensive. This will give me, when they do launch a Border War, give me a 10% attack bonus and extra 10 command power. Uh, the other option, mapping the dam, does the same uh, attack bonus for the dam and command power but the reason I'm taking Broken Boulder is because later on I'm going to take the Legate's Glory here and this one will give me plus 10% uh, attack bonus at the dam as well as 80 ma rifle mastery so I'm taking that so I can have 10% on both because what's going to happen if the Mojave Territories win Operation Sunburst which they normally do I will be fighting two border conflicts, first one here at the dam and then another one a few days later here at Boulder City. That will win me that whole thing. Uh, so I would like to have a 10% attack bo uh, boost for both of them. If, however, if the Brotherhood wins this one out, then it's going to be an all-out war and that's why I'm increasing my infrastructure so I'm trying to cover both my bases. Now luckily... I got enough uh, arm experience. I've modified the what it was called Skinwalkers. Now full 20 with special forces done just as it was. And the I've also the infantry template I've changed to my Legion infantry. That's basically all it is. I changed the name. Uh, this will I will fill up once I get my combined arm platoon uh, sorted out. So now I'm going to change my prime legionaries and the three frumentari templates i got earlier on to my uh, new special forces as you can see it's going to cost me a lot of stuff but i will get some support equipment back and then all my infantry i'll also be changing as well again gonna need a lot of equipment so i'm taking the break between wars to get everything equipped and it's also why i have three separate workshops working on the demolitions equipment because i need that as a priority so you can now be decommissioned you can now be decommissioned keeping that one around to see how it works with my chariots later on and let's carry on 
Okay, so my crypto department is formed. My next upgrade, I'm going to go for Watch Out for Spies. Do as many of those as I can. And I'm actually going to start decrypting uh, Shady Sands over here. The reason I've chosen them is uh, they're a big enemy I'm going to be fighting later on. And decrypting Mojave Territories uh, probably won't be done in time, number one. Number two, because if I do a border conflict, it won't actually give me any boosts to my war. If, however, the Brotherhood wins out, I will swap out and start uh, decrypting them. Now, for my next operative, uh, there's only one real good choice here, and that is the Smooth Talker. Now that I have two, and he can rescue if I need to, Vulpers over here is going to set up an intelligence agency where we first meet him in Fallout New Vegas, set him up in Prim. Now I have a decision here to send an expedition to Assault Upon Wounds. I am not going to take it yet. I want to get this advisor I want to get first before I do that. Okay, so construction basics is done. As I said, I was going to move straight on to the next one. Woodworking, luckily I get a 75% boost. That's so only going to be 84 days. So I can move on to work camps to get some more resources after that. Okay, I've got my first uh, 100 political power. So I'm going to choose my first advisor and it's going to be Radius of Phoenix. Uh, Kaiser must be the current leader. So, and he's going to be staying, so that's fine. This one's quite nice because it gives me the normal research boost to asymmetrical warfare, which I'm going to be using. Army experience plus 5, that's 0 0.05, that's nice. But it gives me an extra 5% political power gain per day, which is uh, quite nice. And what do we have here? Tucson has sent us some of their veterans. In the lands of the Sonora Desert stands the city of Tucson. Its citizens are not part of the Legion and they have their own deities. But as long as they worship the Kaiser and fight in our battles, we can keep them independent. As a sign of their submission, uh, we will s they, they, Will has sent us his best warriors who can mount the roaring chariots. They will serve us well. So I'm going to unlock the technology for motor chariot and squad automatic weapons which is pretty damn nice. So I'm going to, to pop these two onto my Necrophilian cohort over there. And let's have a look at some motor chariots. That's all right. That's all right. Okay. Now, first of all, where does this Loyal Tribe come from? So the Loyal Tribe is focuses that can automatically complete complete on their own. We can also get uh, the Mexican Charisma as well, hopefully later on. Uh, so that is this one automatically completed. So that's that one done. But my next focus now that I've completed these two is actually to move over onto here onto my army and do the state of the Legion. Pax per bellium is the motto of the Legion. While it is the deadliest force in the waste, there is always room for improvement. Despite what the Legion claims, its reliance upon tribal levies is a weakness, not a strength. In some ways, uh, okay, but make no mistake, there may be room for improvement. It is more than a match for any of the degenerates of the wastes. Okay, I'm going to get 35 uh, arm experience and the ad technology Vexilarius, okay, whatever that is. Now I have completed squad automatic weapons, so I'll wait a day and change that over. And while I'm doing that, there we go, okay, so that was done. Let me move on to getting anti tank rifles, start producing them. I'm going to use the slot here. It's got automatic weapons, and then I need to get some chariots built as well. Let's put that there, and let's have a look at the template that they gave us. So, Motra's division was a 12 width Motra's infantry. Then we get chariot platoon, which is now 10 width with chariots. Very nice. And then the Sun Veterans is a 25 width. 
Okay, that's way too big. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do, okay, you, I'm going to decommission, I'm going to decommission you as well. When I get that uh, arm experience from the current focus, I'll build up the chariot platoon here a little bit. And what I'm going to do oh, is yeah. take these two and actually change them down to a chariot platoon. I'll get some manpower, I'll get some uh, motor chariots, and I'll get some fire team back as well. Okay. And then I can always boost that one up. <sighs> um, yeah, no, I'm going to do that for now. Just to save me some manpower. I'll show you how. I've got a really good plan of how I'm going to alter my templates. But let's go. Ohm's Law's finished researching. So now let me get combat language. So I can unlock the uh, other research. Now, I do already have an operation available to make trouble in the Mojave. Unfortunately, to do this one, it requires 15 units of demolition equipment and 15 units of special forces equipment. And I currently am in the red on both of them. So I will not be doing those missions. Uh, it's more important to me to restock my armies. So, State of the Legion is finished, and that has given me the Vixaris. We'll have a look at now. The next focus I'm going to take is in the, the Varro Pathfinders. Kaiser conquered most of New Mexico and Arizona, but the, the Varro fought so fiercely that they retained autonomy. The Navarro Pathfinders serve the Legion, but they remain a people apart. The Legion will have to deal with him, but as one of the most civilized peoples of Arizona, Kaiser has no, no desire, does, desire sorry, to crush them. Perhaps they can be persuaded to serve the Legion more earnestly. So heat attrition is going to go up by 25% and special forces capacity is going to go up by 20 Now the reason I'm doing this is to get uh, this next focus, which will give me some free special, force, special forces units. That is why I strongly advise um, getting four special forces units before you complete that focus because currently... I am at my special forces cap. So if I had to do that focus before recruiting or uh, converting other units, it wouldn't let me get up to uh, 60. And you need at least six special forces units at the dam to be able to win that border conflict. But now into other news. I have now 54 arm experience. It's time to modify my uh, motorized uh, templates now i've had a look in depth here for me to add uh, five motorized infantry onto this would cost me 25 arm experience no problem there my organization goes up all my sets go up it's very nice for some reason for me to turn this down to a 25 so to a 20 with unit that has organization above 40 involves me changing out six of these for some reason and that will cost me 30 army experience so actually the cheapest way for me to get this temp uh, 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 a 20 with template with chariots with decent organization is to modify my starting motorized division so let me just remove these two pop on some chariots let's do another two and then finish off with that one there okay 20 width legion infantry let me now i'll keep that uh Keep that symbol because I don't think they have a one, but I'll change this to the chariots one. Okay, back. And we are going to call this Legion Chariots. And done. So I'm going to convert my templates to this. So save that recommission you 
turn you off there we go there's my legion cherish template let's see what it takes to change these guys around so got enough manpower got enough motorized vehicles gonna need some more infantry equipment okay everybody needs infantry equipment that's all right let's do that got my first uh, legionary template i named it 22nd because the devs when writing somehow missed out when they created the default names so my ocd makes me want to make sure that it goes from 21 all the way up to 31. now what to do about the followers of the apocalypse well the way i like to place kaiser is uh he left them so i presume he does want them back so i'm going to take the hostile decisions to kick them out of my land and that means i've got some decisions i need to take all the way down here so i'm not going to placate them i'm going to divert the supplies nah cost me supply i am going to raid their supplies and i am going to seize a fort that I'm definitely going to do. And watch out for spies. Get the third one. And there we go. The Navarro Pathfinders are done. So now remember, before we take this focus, make sure that you have four 20 with Special Forces units already uh, in your army. But now for the uh, Hashken Naban. Okay, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but all right. The angry warrior is one of the fiercest fighters among the Navarro, but he has truly come to terms with the Legion rule, or will he bide his time and launch a foolish bid on his people's freedom? So he's going to become an, a unit leader, and I'm going to get some Navarro pathfinders are going to arrive for service in 30 days. Woodworking is done. Let me carry on now with work camps to get 12% uh, uh, more resources. And their combat language is done. I'm going to get the decryption for the uh, hopeful boost in the border conflict first, even though there is a uh, research bonus for the uh, encryption one. Time to choose my second advisor, and I am going to be going for the Malfoy's Legate so I can get 15% more attack on my divisions. Okay, so that focus has been completed. Next one I want to do is the Navarro Castra. New Navarro will make a wonderful camp for the Legion, a new outpost for our expansion of a Kaiser. So uh, two boarding slots, two arms workshops, two outposts. Lovely. I do want to stop uh, working on some focuses to build up my industry. And I got four Special Forces units. I thought, I remember it being just two. All right. More the merrier. So there's four. And let's have a quick look at their template. Pathfinder, Special Forces, fantastic. 20 width, can't complain about that. I am now 80 over 60, so I will not be able to change their template even if I wanted to. The game just won't let me, so I'm going to have to wait for that to get up. So, got my reference manuals. Now let me get my secret language for some more encryption. Now, uh, two son has decided to go up against uh, Calvary Country. No surprise there, and they've asked for my help. So you know what? Why not get some uh, training for my uh, infantry this way? Joining in the war, and let's go. And the reject followers have been rejected. Well done, guys. Okay. Got most of them in position, but they're still preparing. So they won't be attacking straight off the bat. But they should be able to, you know, let's actually just say yes. No, they're my puppets. Believe them. Don't want them getting any autonomy points by helping out the science. Even though I am still quite low on some equipment, they are doing well. That's it, guys. Keep on pushing. With the help of Tucson, this actually shouldn't be too much of an issue. And because they're my puppet and I'm helping them out, 
I actually lower the atomic slightly. Good news for me. The Melpa sees it saying we can attack skill of six, defense of four, and six logistics. That's just brilliant. Okay. This is just my standard infantry, not even a 20 width. But they are just overpowering everyone. Okay. Novara clusters are done and my anti-tank rifles at the same time. Lovely. Now I want to unlock my planes. Get that started. Or should I work on my first... I really the first one. Uh, no, we can leave that for now. And my special forces gear still going to take me a long time to get. No, we'll stick with planes for now. Let me pop you into production. Uh, focus is completed. So, should be in two arms factories. Let me put them. Okay, I've got, actually got plenty there. One on each, maybe. No, I'm going to need these a lot more right now. Need to get these guys up. So let's go one. Yeah, one, two. That's fine. And in case another one does come along, I'll pop it on there. All right, there. There, done. Okay, now, going back, I want to build up my... I'll leave that for now. And leave that for now. I want to build up my industry. So, uniting the waste it shall be. To be more than a mighty war band, we must unite the peoples of Arizona and New Mexico. Let us begin with the restoration of the railway between Phoenix and Flagstaff. So we're going to get a level 1 outpost between New Phoenix and Flagstaff, as well as two levels of infrastructure along the way. And we're going to get some pro pro province decisions. So basically... We're going to build a nice trade route and a semi-defensible line all the way along here. That's great. Don't worry about that. We will use anti-tank rifle soon. Suicide pulls is done. Uh, let's work on radio interception group. Yes. Can you guys please take this so you can go work somewhere else? Thank you. I'm not going to take any of this down. I think I'm going to give every single bit of it to Tucson. I just want to rake up the army experience. That's what I want to do. I'm over 50. So let me actually get my first one for special forces. I always like doing the special forces one first if I can. Just helps me out a little bit. Yes, push them, gents. Okay, Houston Expedition against Cypher Warband. That's over here, part of the Rust Belt. Wow, well, I reckon. Secret language is done. Now let me get smoke signals. Uh, request. No. I'm already fighting in your war. And you still want to, want to request people from me. Not going to happen. I'm actually conquering all this territory and I'm just going to give it up. Oh, they're already above 25 again. Ooh, Gordon Gecko is going to be leading Vault City. Interesting. Go away, go away. We'll have none of that. True to Kaiser. This is going pretty nicely. Decision. Oh, I can finally send out scavengers. Fantastic. Not man, they sit out there with vehicles. 606 days to go until attack on the dam. Things are starting to heat up here in the wasteland. People are attacking people. That's the name of the game. Oh, they've got some. 
volunteers from who's that now let's have a look uh, there oh the free fighters I thought so uniting the waste is done fantastic now which one do I want to go through yes water I need water let's get water first mm, yes regional connections uniting the southwest into a single state has proven Kaiser's wisdom while sorry where once you could not go 10 miles without a, a band of threat now a virgin may walk between flagstaff and phoenix naked with a bag of caps and remain unmolested that's impressive everyone prospers save a few of the merchant houses who supported the bandits yep sort them out 11 water the scrap metal also do well but i am short on 15. so that is going to help me immensely especially with w when work camps finishes and everything goes up by 10 percent okay mutants are killing mutants let's get no radio interception group That's the gentleman. Now, Cowboy Country always puts up a good fight. Oh, more political power. What do I want next? Uh, breakthrough. Breakthrough could be very nice with what's coming up. Does it need to be somewhere else? He's not behind elsewhere. Let's see where else. Okay, so I can either, is it the same guy? Yes. So he can either give me 25% breakthrough, or he can give me, oh, that's quite a bit more useful. Although, I'm really getting army experience. My factory output, I can take care of myself. Conscription law costs and economy law costs, you only really change once. Well, 20% is quite quite nice hmm flower boy any other good ones here you also need could be somewhere else war could across be somewhere else why isn't there nothing here oh. alexi yeah, that one i've missed out on don't have dog city can't take you know what if all else fails, let's go for... Ooh, I forgot about these. Legion's work gangs. More construction speed, good. Consumer goods, good. Civilian intelligence. Hmm. Construction speed in general would be good. Let's try this one. That'll be nice. No, no, okay, I'm... Stability is low, and oh, it's 150 anyways. Back to the Golden Gecko. The Kaiser's Legion's got some, has been updated in years, but uh, has some very nice things going for it. Still remains very strong. So many options to play it as well. I mean, I forget the path, but you can actually get... Uh, power armor with one of the paths i mean legion power armor you can actually even as kaiser you can get tanks did you guys know that you can actually get where's my research i'll show you quickly you can get wasteland tanks as kaiser's legion if you wanted to do so it's up to you oh Dave's gone. Okay, let's push him out. I'm not doing any micromanaging because I know my guys are short on resources. That's going to give me what I want for my special forces. Let's double check that. Yes, 80 out of 80. Glider's done. Mm, I don't want to do... Suppose I could actually get these. Because, I mean, they're all one-time use anyways. Use that for my air. They use that for my cast. 
So I don't think I can get intermediate. Let's do bomb gliders first. Yes, let's do that one first. Uh, yeah, leave it at that. War's going well. They've lost a thousand. I've lost less than 400. Tucson is doing basically nothing. I'm doing 92%. Ooh, all all countries against rot purges. Uh, see, this is a problem with loan equipment. Regional connection is it done. That's my water. Fruits, I don't want more money. Ooh, but that political power will go nicely. What else have we got? Navarro Rail. Two sons is more infrastructure. I'm going to work on this next. 87th Tribe, work on that as well. Uh, leave that alone. Leave that alone for now. Let's start this off for the next war paths. Senora et... Whatever that is. Risco, Mexico's riches have been protected by the sleeping god Teluk for almost 200 years, but reports suggest he is growing old and feeble. Perhaps we can exploit this for our own benefit and open up a wedge we can use to pour into that prosperous land. 125 political power. Now exactly what I want to spend it on. I want to change my economy law to well-equipped army radio interception group these things are just coming past what else for, I hate this one no 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 yeah let's go raise my cryptography level I think this is because of this area here. But I'll give it all back to Tucson. <clears throat> Excuse me, they can have it. Oh, if we can get that square, there's another nice encirclement going here. Can you guys please take this capital? Tucson are doing so badly. I wonder what would happen if I'd left them alone. Okay. Give me oh, didn't have to do that. Oh, pop guns, pioneer. That's that's going to be very helpful for me. Other. Yep, some more equipment. That's great. I want to take all of that, and I'm going to. Okay. Two. This is going to take forever. Just passing. They don't have enough. Okay, let me just confirm an exit and see what happens here. Okay, good. They actually got it. Cowboy Country was annexed. Fantastic. And I have some more new weapons. So, next one I want to go for is actually the Pioneer Kit. Get my special force equipment better. Let me pop these new guys into production brilliant then decision is to prepare the eastern boat lift definitely going to do that so I can actually send my navy north of the dam work camps is done I hope they'll help up with my resources now I want to get onto my tool production so let me get some more up chair and increase my efficiency cap with tool procurement so, Signore et, whatever that is, is now completed. So, I've got 196 political power. I'm going to use that to change up to well-equipped army because that will just lower my consumer goods. Uh, income goes up. whole bunch of lovely stuff. It's brilliant. And I'm actually going to end this episode here. Uh, next episode, we will find out who wins the... Uh, Operation Sunburst and who I'll be facing when I go up against the dam and we will continue on conquering some lands to the south of us But for now, thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye mm -hmm.